this is the Negro Ninja. And once again, I'm going to use work stories to pretty much prove that all these issues with holes is not necessarily just a whole thing. Okay, it's just principality things. You're not fighting against flesh and blood. Okay. The same way a hoe fuck with you, it's the same way everything else fuck with you in general, but it's just easy to see with whole points. All right. So here's an update on the last video when I was describing how I'm having beef with this unattractive white whore at the current job. Okay. I told my supervisors I was having beef with this particular bitch. My supervisor is a black woman and she's actually not bad looking at all. Okay. And that's the reason why I decided to work at the job. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. I had two jobs on the table. Okay. I got that video call. I'm like, no, some big ass titties. Yeah. I, yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it. So, um, continuing. All right. She gave me the impression that she didn't give a fuck. Oh, that's just something y'all two got to talk about. But the reality is it just happened so fast. She didn't know how to deal with it. And, Based off of the way she handled it overall, I can tell that she's just not used to this type of thing happening. Okay, because people probably don't fuck with people like that at jobs. But you know, certain type of people exposes the demons and others. You know, I'm high frequency. Okay, low frequency people, be, you know, they just behave in a certain way when they're around high frequency people. So she lashes out. Okay, like how when you have the juice, you risk hoes lashing out because you make bitches feel things that they don't even know they was feeling before. Okay, and that's how, like I said, every woman is not going to do that. But that's how them low level hoes are going to be. All right, and I'm going to try to come back to this point about being hot at a job and how it may work against you. Okay, so the supervisor basically caught me off guard by being responsible and saying, hey, you know, she texted me. I'm like, who the fuck? I'm like, what the hell? Who, how you get my number? I had to ask who it was. Okay. But um, she was like, hey, when you come in tomorrow, simply go in this room. I'm going to make you work on this. You stay there until I get there. She put me in that room. And it was a very pleasant experience because I didn't have to deal with bitch. Okay. Let alone an unattractive hoe. You know how, like I said, when you're not attractive, okay, it's already just, too much dealing with your ugly ass to begin. Now the chick ain't really ugly. She's just not attractive. She lost weight. She'll look, you know, somewhat okay. She'll look alright if she lost weight. Okay. But um, we don't want no stinking attitude from no fat bitch. Okay, you fat hoes already look like you don't smell good anyway. Okay. So um, you know, she basically handles the situation. She just separates me from bitch. Okay. Now let's give this woman. A round of applause. She's a black woman. Okay. And she handled a situation correctly. All right. She handled this situation correctly. It just caught me off guard. Almost as if the Holy Spirit just came in and gave her an idea. Like I said, you just got to, sometimes people just ain't used to dealing with shit because when you're not an average person, you know, things that are not, av uh, I would say abnormal things will happen when you're not average. So she, I, she just had to process the shit and she just thought about how to handle it. Anybody else would have just said, fuck it, man. That's just, you know, that's on y'all, you know. So she got more backbone than I thought. All right. And I thought she was on that chick's side because she was giving me the attitude when the chick was giving me the attitude. But the reality is that's because I didn't get to tell my side of the story. And the chick that was lying on me is so good at her job that she usually, you know, just believe what she's saying because that's the right hand bitch. All right. So. It turns out that she was spewing more lies about me. You know, that's why it pays to just basically be up front. You know, just be, um, just, I'll just tell shit as it happened. You know, you leave a, a trail. So I told her about that whole situation, you know, involving her trying to make me carry another nigga's stuff to put on the shelf when he was right there. He could have did him. Okay. I said, you know that she actually tried to make me do somebody else's work. I'm like, look, he can do this shit. He right there. I know her rotator cuffs is fucked up, but this nigga is right there. Why would she look at me and tell me to do it? Okay, that was all coming too fast for her. Once again, she had to go home and think about it. Okay. 
And I already predicted that that bitch was going to say something about me putting the shit on the wrong shelf. Because when she finally made the dude do what he was supposed to do, he did like this. He just basically did it wrong. I'm like, I know you're doing this shit on purpose. She didn't tell you to open up the door and take it in his room. She said, put this shit on the wall right here. Okay. And I'm like, I'm not even finna engage. You fucked up. That's on you. However, I had to answer for it. Okay, like I said, people come around and pollute the hole. You got to answer for it. Look at the last video. Why you will never be good enough for a broken bitch. Okay, well, I, pro I probably put broken women. Okay. But the supervisor is intelligent, so she wasn't really buying it. She just brought it to my attention that a hole lied on me. She said, Negro Ninja, come here. What's up? I need you to put this on the wall right here, huh? Yeah, put this on the wall. Make sure you put it on this wall. Don't, don't go out the door and put it on that wall there. Put it here. I said, hold on, what? Yeah, put it on this wall. I said, oh, I'd never do that. And it turns out that I didn't even have to pick up what she was talking about. She said, okay, well, I want you to go over here and do this. Now, that was just a very high IQ action. She was just letting me know what the fuck was going on. Now, as I was explaining that I never do nothing that dumb, I feel some energy from my peripheral on the right side. And it's apparently that white bitch. Like I said, I don't know how she was looking, but I felt how she was looking. Just a very conniving bitch. You evil conniving bitch. But your little India giving way. She think I ain't catch it. Bitch, I know about white history to know that there was a white move that you just did. You white demonic bitch. Okay. That bitch is like the pigs in Tomba. You evil swine. You whiz pig bitch. You was a whiz pig bitch. You ever played Diddy Kong Racing? How that big fat motherfucker just take off. Cheating, just running. It's a giant. Just running in front of you and shit. Stepping all on you. That's how that hoe is. But like I said, this all this type of stuff, you know, it goes beyond just women fucking with dudes. That's just it's just the easiest way to see it. Okay. Because when you really stop to think about this, this was a woman that wanted to take all of her frustrations out on me instead of the person that caused her to be frustrated. Okay, just like society just want to be able to just knock you around and expect you not to move. You, I mean, um, they want to be able to just knock you all over the place and expect you not to stand firm and just I'm like, what are you trying to do? I, uh -uh. I'm, I'm not I'm not going for this. Okay. And when you don't comply. Okay, then they just start to slander you, which is what she did in this situation. Okay, just like the devil. All the devil does is chaos, destruction, um, killing. Okay, but what you see in society, you see people blaming God for everything. My God allowed this to happen. Okay, no, you motherfuckers allowed it to happen by not following God and siding with the devil. Okay. Y'all want to, they want to side with the devil because the devil is apparently so fun and let them to do what the fuck they want to do. Okay, while God trying to whip them in line, look, this is what needs to be done. This is the law. This is how I created this. But it's not fun. It's not the way I want to do it. Okay. God put the heat on people, make them think. Okay. Like how he pure, how he say he purifies people like gold and silver and stuff. People don't like that. People just want to, be able to sit around and get, you know, I guess mossy and fat or whatever. Okay. So continuing the person that made her frustrated still never caught any of her wrath. And ironically, he managed to show back up to work today. He was off for two days. I'm like, how the fuck did you get away with this? You just started and you already taking days off. I thought the motherfucker quit. Apparently he didn't. Okay. He didn't quit. And I predicted that this was going to happen if he did come back. She didn't say shit to him. She still. So apparently what she's doing. OK. Since I decided not to pick up his shit and put it on the wall. She's making me take the burden of, you know, his his supposed punishment. And told the lady that I did everything that he did wrong that day. Okay, it's only a matter of, I'm pretty sure tomorrow she's going to tell me some shit. Or she's probably just going to do it gradually over time. 
Just, just let me know that this bitch been slandering my name, like how the Satan slanders the most high. Okay, and it's a lot going on with this bitch, okay? It's a ton going on with it. Like, her, her emotions is all over the place. Okay, and, and, and another reason why some chicks just do shit like that is because they like you too. Okay, believe it or not. Okay, and chicks know where they stand. The bitch know that she's not attractive. And to be honest with you, I'm nice to every chick. Okay, I still give every chick, like, you know, some type of look or whatever, just to be respectful. Okay, you know, I, I don't look at her and act like I'm finna vomit. I just look at him like, hey, how you doing? So I don't act like she's not attractive. Look at her like everybody else. Okay, but I also think that, you know, some chicks will just be around you and just start liking you. And then just try to mask that shit with hatred. You know, that's what... That's why having um, <clears throat> that's why being attractive as a man is more challenging than a woman being attractive. A woman have everything laid out before her. Okay, attractive niggas have. Well, I'm gonna say attractive men. I'm just talking shit by saying nigga. Attractive men have snares laid out. You know, that's not to say that the hoe don't have snares laid out. Okay, not like that. And they only. People lay snares for a bitch only when they're trying to get some pussy from her. But when you're a man, snares just laid out. Who is this nigga? You just, like I said, standing out. And then you're the man. You got the highest power level. You know, the woman getting the energy from man and all this type of stuff. They Society always look for ways to take, take, take. So snares is laid out for you. Okay. And then when you're in workplaces, that's, that's how they used to do me. Just at any job. Okay, especially small places. If it's not the bitches doing something, it's niggas laying the snares trying to hate on me. Okay. But a chick would just sit up there and just cause conflict just to take her mind off the fact that she like you. Very dangerous. And that's some awkward shit. When a man is awkward, he trips over himself. When a bitch is awkward, she is destructive. Bitches that are awkward are just like Trevor from Grand Theft Auto. You know how Trevor ended up killing... His friend and his girlfriend because he was awkward and they had an argument. She ended up, you know, they, they, she, he got so stupid that she pulled out a gun. And he ended up killing both of them. It was just stupid. They just make shit weird. They, they, they are tornado. All right. And like I said, stuff like this is why, it, stuff like this is why it pays. Okay, to always just talk about things that you don't like just you know just yeah this happened because you don't know what somebody's saying behind your back just like niggas cop blocking you don't know what niggas saying behind your back when hoes are around you know like i be saying about how hoes should approach maybe that's why some of them bitches don't approach because somebody been saying some shit behind your back just like what that bitch was doing right there okay I'm all right, and I guess that's all I got to say for this rant. And this has been the Negro Ninja bringing you your Negro message for today.